What's up guys, it's Daniel here. And welcome to yet another video. Today we're going to take a look at the slumbering world snail mount that you can obtain in the waking shores. So the way to obtain this mount is actually really straightforward and quite easy. And it will only require between one hour to two hours of your time. And I'm gonna show you how to unlock this mount. Step one is heading to the waking shores and in the waking shores you'll find this little guy called ingot and this little guy will give you a quest that starts a short quest chain on about eight to ten quests or so and once you've completed these quests the vendor for the mount will show up the vendor is called dealer vexel and he'll be able to sell you the mount for 1000 mag modes but how do you get these mag modes you might ask well let me explain and this is when the farming comes in place so these mag modes you will be able to farm in the obsidian citadel but there's yet another catch to farming these mag modes see you'll need to have a debuff that you'll get from cracking an item called world breaker membership and this world breaker membership you'll obtain from a cache called the twilight cache and the twilight cache will be obtained from a guy called igis the believer the only requirement for you to get this twilight cache is that you turn in a restored obsidian key to Aegis the Believer and then you'll have your Worldbreaker membership. Now crack your Worldbreaker membership and you'll be available to farm the mag modes from killing every mob in the obsidian citadel and they'll slowly begin dropping the mag modes that you'll need for the mount. And once you've killed enough mobs, you'll end up with a thousand mag mode. And with this 1000 mag mode, you're gonna want to head over to the deal of Exel character. And once you're there, you'll be able to trade in your 1000 mag modes for your slumbering world snail. All in all, this mount will take you about one hour to two hours, depending on how fast you're able to farm these mobs in the obsidian citadel. So it's actually straightforward if you just have a little bit of time to do it, it'll be easily done. So that's been it for this video guys and hopefully this information helps somebody out there. If you find these videos that I'm making interesting or helpful in any way, consider leaving a subscribe or a like on this video. I'll really appreciate it and I'll definitely be making more videos in the future. So yeah, that's actually everything. Good luck with your mount farming guys and girls and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.